There have been images on the media about the two individuals, believed to be the two individuals who were in possession of the stolen Italian passport and the stolen Austrian passport to board flight 370. As the belief becomes more certain that these two individuals were probably not terrorists, the interest seems to be dying down because they might just be people who are being smuggled or trafficked. And from Interpol's perspective, the fear, the concern we should all have is that more than a billion times each year, there are people that either cross borders or board planes without having passports screened against Interpol's database. From experience that goes back as far as February 26, 1993, when the first World Trade Center bombing occurred, we know that the terrorist who mastermind that bombing was carrying a stolen Iraqi passport to cross borders. We know that in Europe, we had an assassination of a prime minister committed by Milorad Ulmak, who had his passport stamped 27 times without having it compared to Interpol's databases. And we know that uh, the so-called white widow also was in possession of a stolen passport that she was able to cross borders using without having it checked against Interpol's databases. Dangerous people, not innocent people, dangerous people could be crossing borders with evil in their minds and hearts to harm us all.